So what we're doing in this activity is to add some kind of distance information into an image that hasn't uh, hasn't carried across that information from the microscope, so it's an uncalibrated image. One of the questions we regularly get is how did I know what the pixel size was to be able to calibrate that image? So there are special slides available, which uh, if you're at Melbourne University we can help you with, uh, which will allow you to measure uh, distances on your microscope. The other way of doing it is using something like a hemocytometer slide, like the, this on the, the right hand side here, which has defined distances. If you can capture that distance information in the exact same way you acquired your data, we can then work out um, the distances of, and the sizes of the pixels. So in that case, we'd use the line region of interest tool and draw that across our distance. That will give us the length in pixels and if, as long as you know the distance you can then work out the size of the pixels within that, that distance. With. One other example of this is when we have an image which has a scale bar already written into it but we don't have the distance information within the image. In this case we can again use the line region of interest tool to measure the length of that scale bar. So I'm holding shift, left clicking and dragging across, across the length of the scale bar. We can see in the Fiji window that that says that's a length of 182 pixels. So we can use the scale information in the image of 101 microns to work out the pixel size. In this example, we're going to open up like a triple merge uncalibrated .tiff. If we open this up, you can see in the top left hand corner here it has no distance information, so it's only giving us pixels. Uh, so uh, we can modify this afterwards if we know what the pixel dimensions are. Um, we do that by going into Fiji Images Properties or Control Shift P. And this tells us the properties of the image. So for example here, we've got one channel, one Z, one frame. So this is an RGB image. Our current unit of length is in pixels. We can change this to UM, which Fiji will recognize as microns. And in this example, we want the values to put 0 0.031678. If I hit the global button here, that will apply that to all images that are open within Fiji. So we'll be very careful using that uh, global button. Once I hit OK, you'll see we've now got physical distance of the image as well as the number of pixels that, that image is made up of. So now that we've calibrated this image, uh, we can add a scale bar onto the, onto the image. So again, we're going to use Fiji Analyze Tools Scale Bar. This brings up a very similar dialog box to the calibration bar. We can change the width in microns. Obviously, you want to make something that uh, makes sense for the size of image that you have. Uh, you can change the height. In pixels, again, try and make it look a little bit like a bar. You can change the font size, font color, any backgrounds. Again, the position into the four color uh, corners and also at a place of your own selection. Again, untick overlay. Uh, I very often save a version without the text and a version with the text. Uh, and I always save the scale bar length in my file name so that I also know what the scale bar length is as well. Once you hit OK here, that's again going to be burnt into your image so that you can then get rid of it. Um, and then obviously file, save as, tiff.